Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfat. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, held a meeting with the Prime Minister and the Minister of Finance and Economic Affairs of Barbados, Mia Motley. Sheikh Salman affirmed the Kingdom's commitment to ongoing economic and financial partnerships with the world's countries. He affirmed the importance of cooperation in the economic field on all levels in order to create opportunities. The meeting also discussed the latest developments on the world stage along with various other topics of mutual interest. For her part, the Barbados Premier expressed Press thanks and appreciation for her efforts and affirmed her country's keenness on further economic cooperation with the kingdom. The Minister of Housing, Basim Al Hamar, affirmed the Ministry's success in fulfilling the requests for residential units up to the year 2012. It also succeeded in fulfilling the request for apartments ownership and accommodate the request of the beneficiaries up to the year 2011. Al Hamar noted that the applications of the Northern Governorate constitute 39% of the total housing applications in the Kingdom, while the percentage of applications on waiting lists reached 29%. He added that the number of housing units applications from 2001 until 2021, specifically in Hammettown, has reached 6,210 units, in addition to 277 apartments applications. Al Hamar stated that the ministry has worked on building complexes adjacent to the borders of Hammettown, while Salman City is able to accommodate the housing units applications on waiting lists from the northern and other waiting lists. The ministry is also about to complete work in new cities to accommodate part of the request for those on waiting lists regardless of distribution. The President of the Sustainable Energy Authority, Dr. Abdul Hussein Mirza, chaired the 22nd meeting of the National Committee to follow up and implement the two national plans for renewable energy and energy efficiency, which was held remotely with the participation of the committee members, comprising of senior officials from a number of ministries and government authorities, in the presence of the President Representative of the United Nations Development Programme in Bahrain. Dr. Mirza shed light on the most prominent projects in the sector, which been implemented and launched since the committee's last meeting last February. The projects include the opening of the second solar panel manufacturing plant in the Kingdom, Solar Tech, as well as the launch of the first solar energy project. Dr. Mirza also reviewed the latest updates of the Sustainable Energy Authority to support academic institutions through the development of educational curricula, all facilitating the use and installation of renewable energy systems in buildings and facilities. Dr. Mirza also announced the authority's intention to continue providing professional training programs, including the periodic program offered by the authority in cooperation with Electricity and Water Authority with the support of the United Nations Development Program to qualify contractors and consultants for the installation of solar energy systems. The Under Secretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for Political Affairs, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, received in his office at the ministry today the Ambassador of the Republic of India to Bahrain, Piyush Sirvastava. During the meeting, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah welcomed the Indian Ambassador and praised the historical and distinguished bilateral relations between the two friendly countries, highlighting the abundance of opportunities available in various investment and strategic sectors that will expand partnerships in order to achieve common aspirations. He also shed light on the success of the work of the third meeting of the High Joint Commission between the Kingdom and India, chaired by the foreign ministers of the two countries, which was held in New Delhi on April the 7th, noting his appreciation towards the mutual keenness to strengthen the frameworks for joint cooperation in all fields and to address the repercussions of COVID-19. For his part, the Indian ambassador expressed his country's aspirations to develop the existing close friendship and co operation with Bahrain, wishing the Kingdom continued progress and prosperity. The meeting also discussed a number of topics of bilateral cooperation in addition to the exchange of views and coordination on issues of common interest. 
The, number states, uh, the member states of the United Nations Economic and Social Council have elected Bahrain as a member of the Commission on Crime Prevention and Criminal Justice of the Economic and Social Council for the period between 2022 to 2024 during the elections that took place at the United Nations headquarters in New York City. The election of Bahrain serves as an indication of its high international standing and its pivotal role internationally. It also affirms the outstanding efforts made by the kingdom in the field of combating crime and ensuring criminal justice and in line with the best practices and modern legal legislation applied by the kingdom in this field. The Commission on Crime Prevention and Criminal Justice is the main policy-making body at the United Nations in the area of crime prevention and criminal justice. Its mandate consists of improving international action to combat national and transitional crime, including organized crime, economic crime, money laundering and trafficking in persons, as well as improving the efficiency and fairness of criminal justice administration systems. The Commission also provides a substantive and organizational guidance to the United Nations Congress on crime prevention and criminal justice, which is held every five years to follow up the implementation of the United Nations Convention Against Transitional Organized Crime and the protocols attached to it. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 627,047 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 491,472 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 10,840 with 1,040 recoveries, 1,039 registered new cases and one death. 448 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 554 are contacts of active cases and 37 are travel-related. The deceased was a 33-year-old female citizen. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the family of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.